It's a bit of an update on different systems that are running. This is just a simple one. You can see it's a sump. Two reasonably shallow beds, only about 20 centimetres. This whole one runs off solar. You've got the solar panel there. In the tank, there's a 20 watt pump, which does the job. It's, um, it's on timer, so 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. Uh, you can't really adjust the timer on the pump, it's just what it does. It's either that or continuous. Uh, it works pretty well. I'm kind of surprised that it's, um, it pumps uh, 1,500 litres an hour. So that's plenty, even for the 15 minutes of this size aquaponics setup, as it's only pretty small. This one's cycling, so no fish in it yet. It's just sitting around doing its thing. Uh, got a bit of fish emulsion in it for the few veggies that are in it. These veggies are all pretty sad looking. They actually came from another system, which I had to pull apart and move. Uh, so nothing spectacular there. Um, there's kind of produce all over the place at the moment. There's, uh, you can see all this was just stripped out of beds. There you've got beetroots, baby beetroots. You know, decent size zucchinis coming out of the beds. And uh, there's a wheelie bin over there with full of all the uh, stuff that I had to rip out. Snow peas and all different stuff. Bit of a mess at the moment, gravel everywhere. One of the original systems, just a pretty crappy uh, IBC setup. <clears throat> Sump and it had three beds, now it's only got two. And a uh, standard thousand litre tank. It's running, it's actually overstocked at the moment. It's got about 100 silver perch in there. Uh, I'm kind of uh, needing to get them out into other tanks pretty quickly. But uh, having moved tanks around this week, uh, they've all just got to get in the one tank together for a little while. Oh, there's stuff everywhere at the moment that shouldn't be. Pumps on the ground. This is the um, kind of control bank for this system. As you can see, proper solar powered. Runs uh, aerators and everything else, no dramas. It's got a proper, proper big solar battery for backup so it can run all night, all day. So it's kind of the control center which has been stripped apart and as you can see, pumps everywhere, crap everywhere. Um, as the newer system is kind of taking precedence so this will be full of all the new systems gears shortly and this system I'll probably just put on solar and just leave it leave it like that what I'm doing at the moment is 4,000 litre tank still got the wrap on it um, I'm actually going to cut a viewing window into this side uh, I want to be able to see the fish and see what's going on you know climbing up and down a tank it's just not a lot of fun Someone's going to break their leg, everyone wants to see what's inside it and that kind of thing. So this trout, uh, this is a trout tank. This will have about a hundred trout running around. Um, it's kind of undercover, three quarters. This one's totally undercover, it used to be outside and the temperature fluctuations a lot less now. So silver perch sitting at about 20 degrees, which is good. That's what they like, 20 or above, 25, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I had this one outside, and even shade cloth over it, it doesn't, does, doesn't do the job, you just, you know, it just doesn't work. It's, the fluctuation between night and day is, is chronic. Uh, uh, I think two nights ago it went from 25 degrees during the day uh, down to 9.4 at night. You know, so that'll be happening within a few hours and free from the fish out and they get all sooky. So the new system is, for the trout, as you've seen, the 4,000 litre tank, there's two... Um, Greenhouses, the first one, the inner from the back. There's stuff everywhere. So this one, um, I've basically had the grow beds custom made. You'll see there's outlets at the end here, 90 mil outlet, 25 underneath. So you can see the it's just a um, simple setup. I don't like complex stuff, bell siphons and all that kind of crap. I'm not into it. It's just too much room for failure if I'm not around. So this is just a flood and drain kind of system. You know, the siphon just has a drilled hole in it, that kind of thing. So it just slowly floods out. I think at the moment it's full of water, which is just aging a bit. So same deal underneath there. You've got the 90 on the outside, probably hard to see it, and the 25 each end. Um, these beds are pretty thick. You can see the edging of it. So they've been custom roto moulded for me and all the fittings added to them how I want it. And the whole idea of this is that you can just link one bed to the next, one bed to the next. 
Um, I don't have enough room here because we've got this bloody skateboard ramp in the way. So when that skateboard ramps out of my face, um, basically there'll be a tank sitting at 90 degrees to this going that way and another tank on the outside over there and they'll just link together. So this is a uh, 90 mil screw outlet so I can just unscrew that very easily um, and just add a 90 degree bend or whatever I need, pipe it out that way to the next grow bed. Obviously all the grow beds have to be at the same level which is the biggest trick, this land's a little bit sloping. Uh, but nothing too drastic, it's just a matter of, you know, chocking legs up and that kind of thing. So, um, <clears throat> this one's nearly finished being plumbed. It's about 50 degrees in here today, so at about 3 o'clock I've kind of called it beer o'clock now. It's uh, just a little bit too hot to be bothering in here anymore. And so this one connects to, th this is going to be a um, hybrid system. Um, and I'll just keep adding the beds to it, because 4,000 litres of water is a fair bit. Uh, this grow bed's about 800 litres capacity, uh, and then I'll show you what it connects to. Go around this way. So in the second greenhouse, that's what it connects to. That pipe needs chopping back. But same deal. 90 mil, 25. That's been plugged off. So at each end. So these can just be um, put. I've got a nice little spider in there. Hello. So um, these can just be joined together, constantly connected uh, on the property where we run these things properly. Um, you know, you just connect 15, 20 in a row, it doesn't matter. So this one's um, going to be a hybrid system. So the grow bed in the other greenhouse is going to connect to this grow bed, and this one's going to be a floating raft. Um, I'm not using styrofoam, blue board and all that kind of crap, I just don't like it. Uh, it's weak and I don't know, I just don't like the chemicals that are used in it. Um, but um, as you can see, you know, this thing was made just excellent. The job they did was just bloody beautiful. It's so thick. It's about 7 mil thick. And uh, you know, all the good plastics, you know, it's all food safe and fish safe and everything else. Metal frames built for it. Um, all that kind of stuff, same as the other one, really solid kind of stuff, all high tensile, tensile bolts and everything else. So basically this one, those two outlets are going to feed into this, uh, and by next week I'll have a floating raft system in this one, and the floating raft system is going to be like a real raft, it'll be um, a buoyant kind of system, um, much the same as stock polystyrene it is, but just a little bit different to that, uh, it'll probably just be two different boards, um, as I don't need to pull them in and out that much. I've got uh, 75 mil net pots for them, so I'm, I want large-ish pots. I might add some 100 mils as well. Um, but this bed is about 1400 litres, so a fair whack larger than the other. And as you can see, it was designed with all the strengthening, having the curved edging, how it curves up, just to give it some strength. Same with the base kind of adding some corrugated to it but um, you're really happy with the tanks the um, ease of being able to just add these um, the plan being that we're going to start with a large system which will be about 10 of these beds in a row and about 10 of the other ones from the other side um, all just connecting to each other as you can see how easy it would be a bit of pipe between them job done um, 25 mils everywhere outlet so you can do whatever you want to or just tap them off like this one so that's just a small update uh, as to what's going on and uh, where it's going to go from here so the uh, greenhouse is obviously like hundred dollar greenhouses from crazy sales or whoever uh, but they do the job just from because this is all just test gear uh, this system has just been set up for test purposes basically um, and so far I'm really happy with everything strength and quality and, and whatnot it's um, you know it's, it's looking good it should do exactly what I wanted it to so that's just uh, one of those outlets well, that's the update of uh, what's going on and as I say when this skateboard ramp gets hauled away um, there'll be another one a grow bed added straight away um, and probably down the side behind them all I'll put in another floating raft system and they will feed back to the 4,000 litre tank 4,000 litre tank like I said, I'm going to have a viewing window because it just looks sexy. Uh, 
you know, you can see there's manholes being cut into it just to be able to get in there. Again, over valved. There's uh, 40 mil outlets. It's a 32 and a couple of 25s all down low. So um, you can see up there the solar panels, the 140 watt solar panels that feed into the system. So it's um, power back up everything else as well, just in case, you know, too much, uh, not enough sun or whatever. So um, this system is dismal at the moment. Absolutely horrible. It's all been stripped and, and harassed. It's amazing to still be growing broccoli. I took all the heads out of it the other day. Broccoli in the almost middle of summer. The broccoli was good. Came up very well out of season. Celery's a bit. How's your father? But um, this one's basically just been dumped where it is, and it's right under the shadiest spot in the house. So totally useless now. Um, you know, I'll find some shady plants that'll like it. I think it was doing silver beet and spinach like no tomorrow. It was loving that, but uh, <clears throat> this one was moved with an eight-ton crane from another premises. Uh, I don't really know why I bothered, but, you know, just do see the silly things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. It was all hardwood framed and looked really pretty, but the as soon as they went to lift it, the whole thing just buckled, and I thought it would, because uh, I didn't want to empty all the gravel and whatnot. It's pretty heavy. So, uh, yeah, so this system is basically just kind of going to be left anyway, just because it's there. Um, but all the other systems have been made to be able to be lifted now, so... If I have to move in the future, any of those grow beds, they, they're solid. They're um, you know, serious stuff compared to Mark 1. It's kind of Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. And uh, Mark 3 is uh, a lot more serious, like 2.8 metres by 1,200 beds. And, uh, you know, whatever height I want. Just get them made, made up custom how they were. So, yeah, really happy with uh, the job that was done with the roto moulding. Anyway, quick update. There you have it.